Yeah, so the NFL just changed their kickoff rule. Uh, what do you think about that? Yep. So, tentatively, I like it. Let me explain to the audience what it is. So, you're still kicking off from the 35, but everything else is wildly different. The team that is kicking off will now have all other 10 guys lined up at the opponent's 40. The team that is receiving will have everyone else except for their return man lined up between the 35 and 30. So they will be 5 to 10 yards apart. All right? And then the return man will be somewhere between the goal line and the 20. Okay? So envision it. The kicker's in the normal place. The the kicking team is moved forward 25 yards to the opposing team's 40. The returning team is moved all the way back to between the 30 and 35, and you have one or two return men in between in the red zone, essentially, between the goal line and the 20. No one can move other than the kicker until the return man gets the ball or the ball hits the ground, okay? Once that happens, go play. Go as far as you can. Here are the the unique the the really unique angles to it if the kick you kick it too short and you don't get it to inside the 20 the receiving team gets the ball at the 40 if you kick it too far and you kick it into the end zone the receiving team gets the ball at the 30 So there might be some teams that just say, you know what, screw this. We're just going to bomb this thing into the end zone and give the other team the ball at the 30. That probably won't happen. There will be teams that screw it up and you end up getting the ball at the 40. They kick it too short. But what's mostly going to happen is there's going to be a kickoff. It's going to, you know, land around the 5 to 10 yard line. And then you're going to have... 10 blockers, 10, you know, attempted tacklers, the return man and the kicker go after it. So there will be way, way, way more returns. That is a guarantee. The only potential negative is the surprise onside kick is dead now. Now, if you want to do an onside kick, you have to do, you have to tell people and then do the onside kick. What I think is good about it is, uh, the onside kick, I think, and you guys can look this up and see if I'm wrong, goes back to the old onside kick formation where you had a better chance of receiving it. The one that was in place forever before like five years ago. So in general, I like it. It will obviously reward this season smarter teams that figure things out quicker, better special teams, things like that. And then... Once one or two smart teams figures out the way to do it, everyone will copy them. Um, But I like this rule change. And I also, speaking of rule changes, then we can move on. Don't really, the the hip drop tackle uh, hyperventilation that was happening yesterday, I think is way overwrought. I think there will be, mark this for me. I'm going to go ahead and say, Fewer than one hip drop tackle penalty a weekend league-wide. I bet there are fewer than 20 called over the course of the season. Players will adjust, and they're not going to call, I don't think, the in-between ones. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show, and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or just click the link in the description below.